Tonight, a million dollar matchmaker. So who do we got chicken in oh this Oh my week? gosh, Robin Kastner. Drinks a little too much. She sleeps with guys on the first and the second yeah. date. She's been doing this for years. And you're okay she, with No. Her? She has changed. Ohani Noah. Okay, Ohani is Jennifer Lopez's first husband. The problem is Ohani is subjectifying oh, women. That's nice. That's, you ain't no f Antonio good. Banderas. Let's get good. real here. I'm, you're not him. You're good. not him. You're not so him. Are you a one? Are you a five? I see a 10. You're delusional. <laughs> Welcome to the Millionaires Club. I'm Patty Stanger, and I'm a third generation matchmaker who knows how to find love. I've upped my game and taken over an exclusive resort. This is so nice. Where I can watch my clients every move and give them hard truths and much needed love lessons. If I can't fix you up, who can? My goal is simple, find them love. Another match for the Millionaires Club. I am the million dollar matchmaker. Let's get to work. So who do we got chicken in Oh this my week? gosh, we are slam packed this week, Robin Kastner. Robin's been here twice already. Now we know about Robin. Is she Robin. gonna be no. serious about love? I hope so. Hello, hello. Hi. Greetings, Miss Kastner. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. My name is Robin Kastner. I'm 39 years old. I live in New York City and I'm a real estate developer. Welcome to the Millionaire's Club. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Patty's going to find me a man. Oh, she definitely will. She's like an amazing businesswoman. Okay. She's had a lot of careers, and she's got a law degree. Yeah. So she's really bright, but she plays ditzy on the She goes like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's 39 going on 13. And there's the wow. girls. Oh, my god. It's like I live here, and I lead with my boobs. You know, wow. there's, there's the pool, there's the lazy river. And we'll actually get you checked in right over here. What's a lazy river? I want one of those. I've dated all kinds of super hot guys. Are you in the lazy river? I, maybe on my off days. <laughs> For some reason, I can't seem to hold a boyfriend. Hi. Hi, welcome to Harris, Ms. Kastner. I've worked with Patty two times before. Welcome to your suite. Oh, wow, it's gorgeous, I love it. I think it didn't work because I wasn't ready, I wasn't grown up, I wasn't mature. She has serious issues, she drinks a little too much. Yes, she breaks my two drink maximum all the time. She sleeps with guys on the first and the second yep. date. She's been doing this for years. And you're okay she, with No. Her? She has changed. She's she made is, some baby yeah. steps. Patty's gonna be so proud of me. I no longer live in a pink house and I'm ready to find my husband. I'm hoping third time's a charm. Okay, and she wants to have kids, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, she okay. better wake up right now. I'm a little scared. I mean, this is not going to be an easy one. We have our work cut out for us. Nothing yes, really we do. Changed. But we have another client this week. Ohani Noah. Oh, he's oh, so hot. Ohani is hot. so sexy. Ohani yes. is a hottie. So he is a Latin lover. Hi, Hi welcome. My name's Lucy. Lucy, nice meeting you, Ohani. My name is Ohani Noah. I'm 41 years old. I actually am an actor, model, and in the uh, restaurant and nightclub business. Oh, Very beautiful. Good. Oh, thank yeah, you so much. It goes with it. Oh, yeah. you're going to make nice. me blush. <laughs> really? Most people know me because I was married to Jennifer Lopez. I was the first husband. We actually got married in 1998. That was my first love. It was my first marriage. I was looking forward to be with her for the rest of my life. It didn't happen, you know. She made the choice of her career instead of me, and my heart was broken in many, many pieces, and I was, you know, I was really hurt. It really hurt me. He's never gotten over her. He has not gotten over her. He's had, like, a few relationships, but he hasn't opened up. So he lost the love of his life, and now he protects himself from being hurt by being a playboy. We have our work cut out for us. Yes, we do. Are you single? Oh, me? Yeah. I've been successful in my career and, and ladies. Uh, you know, I'm a good-looking guy. You know, I look amazing. I train hard for this body. So one of the problems is, is that he's been in so many relationships that go nowhere. Because he doesn't want to be hurt. I expect from Patty to give me close to the 10. If Patty's not gonna bring it to the table, I will swear to God, I will, you know, I will walk away because I'm not gonna be wasting her time, my time. Because he was screwed over like this, he needed to like use his machismo, use his sexuality as a defense shield so that he can repel all the good ones. Right. And then he doesn't understand why none of these relationships last. I'm like, cause you pick Wow, this is very nice. Yeah. It's been 20 something years, you know, it's been too long. I'm ready to have that family. I'm ready to make that commitment again, ready to, to get married. I want to see his style of dating. I want to see the what he does to women. And this way I can check him. We got a lot of work to yes, do. Yes, we do. Okay? After 
time my clients checked in yesterday, I sent Ohani on his love lesson. Little do they know that I'm watching their every move to see what's really going down. Today's Robin's turn, and she's a repeat client, and I have the perfect love lesson for her. Dustin, Rachel, there how are you? Are. Hi, so good nice to see, to you, see again. you Hello, oh, beautiful. Look at you. Clearly, Robin is having problems finding a man. I worked with her twice before, and I need to find out if she's not listening to my previous advice or she's got a new problem. So we have a date that you are going to go on. Right now. Right now. Now? In the past, Robin has not been able to see the danger signs when someone is really, really good looking. It's almost like she's blinded by looks. I need to see, is this still happening? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm Robin. Brad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My first impression is he's really sexy, and I'm thinking, whoa. So you have kids? No. You have kids? No. I mean, I may have kids. I don't know. You don't know if you have kids? <laughs> there was a few spring breaks. It ain't because my <laughs> working, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it's good to know. Robin is not paying attention, and she's missing all the deal breakers with this guy. There you go. Ooh. That was hot. <laughs> Yeah. I usually drink whiskey. This I try not to drink too often anymore. I got a DUI or two. Do you have a criminal record? I mean, a couple like fights, like I think an assault charge. <laughs> Robin has not changed at all. She's looking at this guy like he's a piece of meat. I've got to stop this date before she takes this guy to her room. Let's see. Come on. Uh, here we go. It's a big glass. All right, kids. Uh -oh. okay. Time's up, guys. Oh, no, uh -oh. it's over. Robin, Robin, Robin. It looks like I still have my work cut out for me. She's not getting it. It's her third time but, here. But she's you pushing know. But you know me, I won't give up on someone. Here she comes. Oh, good. Hi, Robin. Robin. How are you? Hi. Sweet cheeks. Oh, you look so pretty. So happy to see you oh, again, girl. So Robin is a sweet girl, but she's completely delusional. I know you're back. I know this is serious time. I know you've changed a lot. So let's start from the beginning. You sold the business. What happened to the publicist business? Well, I started making more money in real estate. Oh, so good for you. I'm flipping houses in Manhattan and the Hamptons. Oh. Really? So I'm making a ton of money. I've been talking to the team here. Yeah. Okay. And before we get into what happened today, I understand that you were dating three to five times a day, like on all the apps. Yeah. Is that true? It's How true. How do you have the time between flipping and dating five guys? Well, Patty, I'm very serious about finding true love. That's why I came to you. So I'm trying to date as much as possible. And, um, you know, whoever asks me out who's interesting in some way, I'll go out with them. Is that working for you? Because, like, it doesn't seem to me like you're qualifying your buyer here, Missy. That's pretty normal for, like, a single girl, I think. I'm very selective. You're selective? You don't even know these people. Like, how the f Selective, could you be after two glasses of wine, little and three? I try not to sleep with most guys on the first date. You I'm not gonna say it never try, happens. Try, try, keep try. on, but you have. What do you think you are? Sex in the City? This is Sarah Jessica Parker, which is fantasy, which was not real. Yeah, I'm in love with love. You're not in love with love. You're in love with sex. What'd you think of the guy to fix you up with? Well, he's hot, Patty. Hot is everything to you. I sent Robin on a date for her love lesson. It was really a test to see if she's changed. And of course, she failed. I need her to wake up and see past the superficial, even if I have to shock her. I mean, I was a little bit turned off by the whole criminal record thing. A little bit turned off, just a little bit. Well, all bets are off see, because he is, is hot. Sex, 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 sex. Is hot gonna make you happy at the end of the day? It depends. You're you know gonna lose interest having sex with you. So if you don't have anything more than sex, eventually that goes away. I don't date team. average. Oh my God. <laughs> Robin won't date average is ridiculous because Robin's average. Does she not have a mirror to see herself in? Mirror, mirror on the wall. You realize you're not a 10. Reality check. I want you to look in the mirror. Patty, I'm a 10. No, you're not. Yes. No, you're not. I'm not a 10. Patty, put I'm not a 10. I'm not a 10. <laughs> Rachel's not a 10. We're none of us are 10s. We're not 10. Look at you in the mirror. What number are you? Give me a number. Patty, I'm beautiful. Give me a f number, Ms. Kessler. It's not a good idea for Robin to go for just looks. Her belief system is what's blocking her from love. And what number are you? Are you a one? Are you a five? Are you a six? Are you a seven? What are you, Robin? What are you? I see a 10. You're delusional. Coming up. Let's say that you wanted to have sex. OK, I'm not going to say no. What? Sex? Okay. Time out. Tell me the damn truth. Now, I know for a fact you did something other than kissing. What did you do? Are you a one? 
Are you a five? Are you a six? Are you a seven? What are you, Robin? What are you? I see a 10. You're delusional. Robin lives in a dating fantasy land filled with pink and fluffy unicorns. I have to give her tough love to make sure that she grows up or she'll end up alone. Six I'm or like seven. I'm gonna 11. No, you're a six. We're gonna give you a six right now. I think I should be flattered that she thinks I'm a six because I think the last time I went to her, she called me a four, so my attractiveness is going up in the eyes of Patty Stanger. But Patty, how come I date all these hot guys? And really, are they marrying you? Do you see, I'm, I'm sorry, where's the ring? Where's the ring? Give me the ring. You wanna hit it to quit it? Go ahead, but you're not gonna find a boyfriend that way. Truth that matters, it's not all about looks, and you're putting all your eggs into the looks basket. You know, maybe Patty's right. I've been to her twice already, and third time's a charm, so maybe it'll work out this time. So I wanna give you some rules, okay? On the date, you can let the guy lead and let him ask the questions. The second thing is, talk about the things that are you're really interested in, because when you talk about what motivates you, your passion comes out, and that's sexy. Passion equals sexy. Yeah. Without having to sleep with them. Yeah. The last rule is you're not sleeping with them. No sex before monogamy, and I mean monogamy. You're gonna get to know them first and close those legs of yours. Okay. Okay. How many dates is good to wait till you have sex? You don't have sex until they give you monogamy. I try to follow the no sex before monogamy rule. Obviously, every rule has an exception. No more sucking wine with a straw. Why? Because you're getting too up that way, and what happens after two drinks? My inhibitions go out the window. And you're cloudy with your vision, so when you saw the little convict with the tattoos, you could care less, because he's hot. He's so hot, I just want to him, he's so hot. That's true. No more. Okay, we're clear on this? Mm -hmm. Robin better follow my rules. I mean, this is serious right now. If she doesn't follow my rules, she's gonna end up alone. She needs to keep her legs closed. Bye, Robin. Bye, Robin. Bye, guys. Bye. Hi, team. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How you doing? How's it going? Finally, nice you. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Hi. Okay. How are How you? How are you doing? Ohani's got that Latin lover stick down pat, but he's not fooling me. I need him to know that his past is just his past. So. How are you? How's the resort going for you? Excited to be a surrounded by beautiful people like yourself and Candice. You were married to the biggest celebrity, and mm -hmm. they get the biggest part, which turns their career around, and then she leaves you. Okay. Yeah. So what happened, Ohani? To me, I thought, you know, this is it. And I wanted to, like, be with Jennifer for the rest of my life because I'm thinking, to me, it was true love. I was married to somebody, you know, huge, you know, who become, you know, to be a, one of the biggest, you know, superstar. But that was it. You know, I'm here now because I want to find that, you know, right person. And your frustration blocks the flow to love. God hurts. It okay. was hard to get over it. You went to other ones, and you always did the self-fulfilling prophecy. You know what that is? What? You looked for women that didn't want you okay. to fulfill your prophecy no. that she was the one that got away. Um, ta -da. Yes. No, no. Bingo. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, no, not that, not that. Because you don't want to be no, 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 no. 20 years go by, and you haven't found love, and you look no. this good, I and have. you got a business? Come, Listen, come on. I have. Come on. Come party, on here. Party, I have. What'd you okay. think of the girl that I fixed you up with? The one yesterday, amazing. She was beautiful, good looking, fit. One of, you know, one of my types, fit. one of the things, yeah, one of the things that I'm looking for. And she brings a lot to the table. But you can't objectify well. women. I've seen it a million times. Men who try to heal their pain by ignoring it and objectifying women. Okay. I did research on you. So, Candace, can you show them what you found? What, what are you gonna show me? I'm gonna show you this. Now look at this. Okay, okay. I watch. Hey. Hi. Oh, you didn't know we had this. Hi, I'm nice, Bridget. Nice Bridget. Nice to meet you. Bridget, nice to meet you. Oh, honey, nice to meet you. Pleasure. You. My God, look at you. Oh. <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> thank you. Patty's doing a good job, I see. Yeah. Two years ago, Jason. Oh, thank you. You train, you train, I can tell. You really, <laughs> physique, very, I mean, you know. I work out. <laughs> you see, I'm being nice. You're amazing, beautiful, oh, tall. How, how tall are you? I'm 5'8 and a half, but with half. heels on, I'm probably like 6 feet tall. <laughs> yeah? Can you stand up, please? <laughs> what, what, what are we going to do? Eh? What are we going to do? No, I just, I'm yeah. only because you asked nicely. Thank you. OK. You see? That's nice. <laughs> okay, why are you making her stand up and show her dress off? Party, can... because I wanted to see oh, her. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Better. You're making her a sexual I was object. I was, that was she must have felt so insecure after that. Stand up I'm, and turn I'm around. Here. I'm here because I want to find the right person. I'm here not to be wasting my time and for you guys to do the right you thing. You can't go what about you it the way you're Party. going about it. You suck Move at on. it. You suck okay. at dating. She it's like Rico 
suave. Yeah. It's like I, I don't want to. It's I like when you think you are Antonio Banderas. You ain't no Antonio Banderas. Let's get real here, okay? Let's get real. Post your boy Antonio Banderas. You're not him. I look good. You're not him. You're not him. Watch again. Candace, play it. It's getting a little cold. You want to go inside and grab a drink? Um, no, that's OK. In the I... room? No, sure? I think I'm good. Maybe another time. I asked her to go to my room because I wanted to talk to her probably. Maybe a drink. Let's say that she wanted to have sex. OK, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to just walk away. What? Sex? But not even the time. Sex? OK. okay when you do no have sex, sex before monogamy I know. Do you know the room? I know. So I, I came here to find out love, not to be having party talking me about some, you know, some bull crap. If we something okay, happens, happens. Down here. okay. Is, we're if not something getting happens. anywhere. Let's just yeah. calm down here. What I see is this broken little boy who basically couldn't find love after he got the love of his life. Now, can I be honest with you? It's like a death. It's okay. like you're grieving of a death. I don't know anybody that can let go of a love like that. It's very difficult. You're right. Could it be remote possibility ago. that you basically closed your heart up and you said, yeah. okay, now the door's closed forever? And my wall, and maybe it has been on because every time they mention that subject, it goes up. Because I got hurt. I don't want to get hurt again. Okay, listen. Yeah. That got to go away. Okay? I'm leading, I'm leading towards okay, you. are to... now in my house. Yeah. We're going to release the past, okay? okay. And we're going to bring true love in. Maybe Paddy is right. Maybe Paddy sees some things that, I, that I, I don't see myself. So here are the rules for the dates, okay? okay? The first rule is that you're going to let the girl talk. Okay. So don't over talk her. No. The second rule is you're not going to objectify her. No. So you can give her a compliment. Every okay. so often give her a compliment. Don't go, hey, what do you do in the gym and your workout? And, you know, like as though she's a piece of meat on a rack. Okay. I promise I will be good. I will be in my best behavior. And, and the third one is no sex before f monogamy. Monogamy. Body, I, I, Real okay. monogamy. Okay, I papi, I, no. <laughs> I, I say, I'm no. mommy. I say, no. mommy. Okay. Is it me, or do we finally see a crack in this wall? Promise. Give me a hug. Not, I know it's really tough. Finally, thank I know you. it's tough on you, but you know what? I really believe in you. I feel like Ohani's on his way to healing and to let women see his true self. This is going to be a hard one. I want to start getting right into the database and finding only girls that want to be marriage minded. Yes, okay, I'm going to start doing this right now. I'm about to start recruiting for both Ohani and Robin. I feel like I've made progress with both of these clients, but now I need to find them their perfect matches. Destin, Rachel, Can is Okay, let's do this. Let's talk about who's on deck for Robin. We want someone successful, someone who can take her out for dinner, someone funny, a seven or eight. We don't have to go for a 10. For Robin, I need to find some successful businessmen who have a really good sense of humor. Because with Robin, you kind of need that. <laughs> All right, Louie, we're going to start with Victor. And James, please. So we've got Wolverine. Oh. And James. How long were you married? Eight years. What went wrong? She didn't love herself. Ooh, oh, good answer. Oh, wow. Very good answer. Wait, you're so evolved. Great. Who are you? How old are you? 35. You're only 35. Okay, yes. so she's in your ballpark age yep. range. Do you like animals? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do a lot with dog and cat rescue. Oh, so. nice. Yeah. Show me how you connect. Connect to me. I think we have to find mutual interest. Okay, that is so boring and dry, I'm falling asleep. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, connect to me. Say something that makes Flirt me want to come over. Come on, connect to me. I'm not, You yeah. suck at this. Oh. When does the sex happen? Does that happen before the fifth date? Uh, no, that's after monogamy. Where'd you get that from? How'd you even know the word monogamy? You said it so easily. Can I practice it? <laughs> <laughs> so you have a 22-year-old daughter? I do, Alexis. Do you want more children? Yes. What's different between the Arkansas women and the LA women? Because we're different, right? A little bit. Everybody's the same. Really? Down inside, I think. Do you want to get married? Absolutely. She's like beautiful and blonde, but she's very busty and very mm -hmm. curvy and almost on the plus size. Are you okay with that? Like, I think that size, like, I, I, that would be my max size right there. Why are you you're using him? <laughs> <laughs> you because I woman. can't really do yeah, this. Because like, Just put you'd your make hands it very out. I want, I want a handful of ass. Show me with your hands. Let's say this big. All right. <laughs> in the ballpark. Love is love. Whoa, Big love. what a comment. Yeah, I mean, Good okay, answer. Okay, love is love. Do you like curvy women? I do. Yeah, you like big boobs? Yes. You like blondes? Yes. Do you like dogs? I love dogs. Okay, yeah. you're scoring right now. Thank okay. you. Wow. I like you. You guys were really great Both sports right great. now. Fantastic. Great seeing you again. Okay, 
I like Victor because he's open-minded, good-looking, and has a great sense of humor. Yes to him. Justin is promising because he's sensitive and seems like he would be a good fit emotionally. I kind of liked him. Now Caleb is good. He loves animals and would be good at slowing things down with Robin. Yes to him. Yes. Michael could be perfect because he is just the sweetest southern gentleman. I have great guys here, but it'll be up to Robin not to screw it up. Coming up. Do you like 41-year-old men? I mean, I can. <laughs> Do the twerk for me. I want to see that. Ooh, shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Uh -oh. My millionaire is an amazing, sexy, super successful Latino. Ohani's ready. We need somebody who's funny, intelligent, smart. A woman of substance. Not just eye candy. Louis, can you please bring me Hala and Matilda? Hello. You guys look gorgeous. Hala, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm a lawyer in Orange County. What kind of lawyer are you? Civil litigation. I'm born and raised in Sherman Oaks, so I'm like Super Valley. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So what do you do for Jerry and Jerry Money? I'm a makeup artist for it, though. Oh, you I do, do the, the makeup? The liquid foundation is sick. You're a fashion student? Where are you going? Oh, I'm taking classes at my fashion class at Santa Monica. Where are you from? College. I'm from Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Yes. I'm entertaining. What do you mean you're entertaining? She has these I don't faces know, I'm like just her. weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're kooky, aren't you? I <laughs> am. Kooky little thing. No. Do you like Latin men? I like Latin men. I'm a Latina myself. What kind of Latina are you? My mother's from Chile, my father's from France. Chile. Ooh, so I'm half Chilean. Chile. Now you're a little young. He's 41. How do you feel about that? I need a man who's going to step up to the plate, and I can handle myself. I am an independent, strong woman. I've had to be strong throughout my whole entire life. And you're Catholic, right? Yes. Oh. Virgin Mary. <laughs> Do you like 41-year-old men? I mean, I can. <laughs> what do you want in a man? I really want a commitment. I am probably my best person when I'm in a relationship. Could you find balance and nest with him? I think that's really Make important. Him feel I'm secure. a home woman. I'm a Latin woman. I want to build a family. Since I know you love to dance, I have a Latin dancer this week. I love it. I love to salsa. I love it. Bring it, Morgan. Bring do the twerk for me. I want to see that. Oh, shake it. Bam, shake bam, it. Bam, shake bam, it. Bam, Let bam, me bam. see you shake it, Natasha. Let me see you shake I it. I mean, I shake it a little different. Okay, Let me see, see what you do. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I can shake it like that, too. <laughs> OK, guys. I admire this. Thank you so much. OK, you can go back to Louie, right? Thank, Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Bye. Thanks, ladies. This is going to be so tough. This is so tough. We have so, so many tough. good choices. So many choices. I don't Crazy. even know where to begin my head. I know. I did such an amazing yeah. job. I like Natasha. I have a really good feeling about her because she would be committed to being in a relationship. Amy could be the one. I know she will be able to see past any of the Latin lover BS Ahani may try and pull. She's fantastic. At the dancing, they have so much in common. Morgan definitely is a good choice because she's family focused, has a great sense of humor, and nurturing qualities. Yes to her. She was personality plus. You know, I like Matilda because she's worldly like Ahani. I think we've got a lot to work with, but I only need two. At yesterday's recruiting, there were a lot of great guys for Robin, but I know I picked the right two. I sent Robin on an exclusive sushi making date. I figured if I kept her hands busy, she'd stay out of trouble. I hope she listens to my rules. She needs to let the man lead, two drink maximum Robin, and go home the f alone. Hey, Robin. My first choice for Robin is Michael. He's old fashioned. He likes to take things slow. He likes to get to know someone. This is going to be great. So I don't know if you've ever made sushi. I have not. I'd love to learn. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, so it should be fun. So that makes two of us. Would you like a drink? Absolutely. What do we have? Michael reminds me of Will Ferrell. When he talks, he has a southern accent, like a real southern gentleman. And then we've got Victor, who's looking for a mature woman. Hopefully Robin will show him her mature side and not her little girl side. How you doing, Robin? Good, how are you, babe? Doing well. My first impression of Victor is he looks very well-dressed. He dresses like a million dollars. Would you like some wine? I would love some. Nice to see you. You too. Hey. She's very cute. She's very endearing. You can tell she is very affectionate. 
Before we start, we're gonna do a sake bomb. What do you think? Okay. Yes, yes. Right. We got some beer in there, but we're gonna yeah. do is we put the chopstick there. Sake right on top. I say sake, you say bomb. So <laughs> I say sake, you say bomb. bomb. Sake, bomb. bomb. Sake, bomb. bomb. Go. Cheers. I love setting the millionaires up on the same exact date so they can judge the chemistry between the two people that they're dating. So you just cover the whole sheet of seaweed? It's pretty simple. Okay. You lift it up, you go forward. Since Robin judges people based on their looks, chemistry is going to be super important. So I think we start with the rice. We okay. lay the rice down. No, I think we have the seaweed first and then the rice. Are we having our first argument? <laughs> All right, go for it. How tall are you? About 6'3". Oh my god, that's so hot. I love super tall guys. The first thing I really noticed about Robin was her smile. It was very vibrant, very lively. Okay, so what's next? I put like the, like, the lagostines in there. Lagostines. They're like baby lobsters. They're so cute. Can we eat and that And they right want to be in your mouth. Put it in my mouth. You're being so forward. I'm not like being that. forward. Listen, I'm I'm the girl. You're supposed to be forward because you're Here, the boy. Here, let me put it in your mouth. Open up. Wasabi? Oh, thank you. How much? A lot. I like my sushi spicy like my men. <laughs> what do you want? I want a guy who is very cute, who loves me. Put your hands on my boobs. Put my hand on your boobs. You're giving me permission. Well, Robin is very forward sexually. Squeeze yeah. it. So I don't feel on our first date that it's appropriate. From what I thought, she was a little bit more reserved. I go to the Hamptons. I don't know if you heard of that. Yeah. I think she's drank a little bit too much and it's taken the best of her. At this point, if Robin chooses to match with me, I honestly could say I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it's very good to meet you. I think Robin is a very sexually forward person. It makes it a little uncomfortable for me because I don't know her well. It takes me a little time to get to know someone before I can be as uh, sexually open. I had such a good time with you. I didn't think I would have such a good time with you when I met you. And I love you, and I think you're amazing. I really do. I hope it's my last chance with Patty to find true love because that would mean that I get married and I don't need a matchmaker anymore. Coming up. Yeah, I would say that after those two wonderful and amazing days, it's a tough decision. Why do you look so weird right now? Are you okay? I'm good. <laughs>
party told me to be more listening to uh, what she had to say and not to justify it. I'm going by those rules. I told her that I would respect it. What about you? Yeah, yeah. My mother's from Santiago. Santiago, Chile. Santiago de Chile. Um, and my father is from France in the south, from Canada. You know, so you speak French and I speak Spanish. French and Spanish fluently. So anyway, you said that you were from countryside, no? Mm-hmm. I'm from yeah. a small little town. Grew yes. up riding horses with my grandpa. What about you? Have you ever been married? What are you looking for? I've never been I... married, but I'm definitely a relationship girl. I'm at that point in my life where I'm so ready for love. No. I just want to have good chemistry and be silly together. I can't wait to get in that hot tub with you. Like You want to go in the hot tub? Yeah, I want to be adventurous with you. Let's, Let's do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. It's so warm. It's nice, huh? It's hot. I told you it's hot. It's hot and I love it. I'm, I'm having fun. Patty was already right, you know, about me having this wall for so long. I learned just to drop it and, you know, and, and just to be myself. Jump in the jacuzzi, voila. So anyway, cheers You have a again. lot of tattoos. Cheers. I have three. Three? What's one, this? One, two, and three. Black panther. Oh, that's my mother's dogs. favorite animal. Panther? Yeah, she swore she's like a panther in another life. Really? Yeah. He has been the perfect gentleman. He was uh, a dream to be on a first date with. <laughs> Tell me more about you. I mean, I just like to be adventurous. I love to travel. I want to go to Miami. Oh, my. Ohani's being a gentleman, and he was opening up to me. I hope he chooses the best girl for him. I would say that after those two wonderful and amazing days, it's a tough decision, though. I'm, I'm, you know, it's gonna be hard, you know, to make that, you know, who that I end up with. But it was amazing. I'm super excited that we found these great guys. You know, yes. Michael and Victor were perfect for her. My eyes and ears are everywhere, and I'm hearing reports that Robin is not following my rules. It's time to get the truth straight from the horse's mouth. Hey, Robin. Hey, how are you? Good. Have a seat, girl. You look so pretty in that Thank color. You. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thanks, Patty. It takes two to make a match. So while I'm meeting with Robin, Destin and Rachel are meeting with her suitors. Why do you look so weird right now? Are you okay? I'm good. I'm trying to contain my excitement. <laughs> okay. So, you had two guys. You had Michael and you had Victor. You're now at the sushi restaurant. Yeah. Michael meets you. What happens? Go from the beginning. I want all the details. Come on. OK, so we got to the restaurant. And then what happened? And then I think we kissed a little bit. So yeah. what do you mean you think you kissed? Who kissed who? I think I kissed him. Wait, you remember or you don't remember who kissed who? Like, what happened here? What's going on here? Uh-oh. <laughs> Robin, how much did you drink? Well, I was planning on only sticking to the two drink minimum, but the chef came out and did um, this thing called sake bombs. Oh, jeez. You did not do this. Patty, I was really nervous. You got blitzed, did you? I got a little blitzed, yes. Oh, my god. <laughs> so you really didn't follow any of my rules. I'm embarrassed because I shouldn't have done the sake bombs. I shouldn't have drank the wine with a straw. I shouldn't have talked about myself all night. I really do break Patty's rules all the time, and it's not doing me any favors in dating. Why the f can't you get this? Like, you're just with me right now, and I don't like to be with. Now, get back to what's going on here. How did it end? Um, how did it end? I think it ended. Okay, the, if Louis, if she doesn't remember anything. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, once I already drank a little bit, I didn't know that I should not drink more. Okay, but you're making a lot of excuses and pissing me off. Let's just go through the rules, mm -hmm. okay? Two drink maximum. Yes. You broke that. Broke that. I told you not to lead with sex. Mm -hmm. I say you could be flirtatious, but not sexual. Were mm -hmm. you sexual? I guess a little sexual. And anything else happened, for God's sake? No, nothing else happened. It was just, just kissing. Nobody wants true love more than me. And but you don't want true love, because if you did want true love, you would have followed my rules, because you knew what you've been doing for 39 years has not worked. There is no shortcuts to love. Love is a process, a classy process, not a trashy process. Clearly, Robin has made a disaster of her dates. But if Victor and Michael like a good disaster flick, maybe I'll be rid of Robin and all her drunken drama forever. Please. Let's talk about how it went with Victor. OK. Um, well, I started off, I gave him a kiss when I met him. And uh, we made the sushi. Mm -hmm. We were very flirty with each other. Mm -hmm. And we had a good time. 
You are lying to me. You tell me the truth. Tell me the truth because I'm reading your vibration right now and I know for a fact you did something other than kissing. What did you do? Coming up. You threw yourself at him and you were kissing him. You said that you wanted to marry him and have sex with him. <gasps> okay, there's the oh. door. You are lying to me. You tell me the truth. Tell me the truth because I'm reading your vibration right now and I know for a fact you did something other than kissing. What did you do? I think he might have grabbed my boobs at one point. What do you mean he grabbed your boobs? I think he touched my boobs. I don't what, really, what, what do you mean he touched your boobs? I have a hard boobs. time remembering. Oh my God. How'd it go? Well, there was uh, sexual connotations that I'm just not used to having that conversation with. You also look a little frightened? I was a little scared, yes. She said she loved me and she'd marry me and wanted to have kids with me. Oh, wow. But I think she just may, maybe got lost in the sauce. If I told you to change your entire way of being and then I sent you out on a date, you couldn't do it because yes, I could. at the end of the day, yes, you're I Patty could. Stick. You're I'm wrong. Robin Cass. You are wrong, you are wrong. Louie, get Destin and Rachel here. I'm so pissed off right now. I'm about to pull this mother car over. But first, I need to hear everything. Destin and Rachel, what are the reports from the daters? Michael was very turned off by the sexual aggression that you showed. He didn't like the fact that you drank too much, that you were sipping with a straw. Victor said that you were bombed, completely drunk when he met you. You tried to kiss him before he even got a word oh, out. Immediately, the minute, the minute he walked in the door, you threw yourself at him. You said that you wanted to marry him and have sex with him and have babies and... Did he mention anything about him grabbing her boobs? Y yes, that you were forcing him to grab your breasts. <gasps> Honestly, I, I don't remember that part. It wouldn't matter who you picked. Both guys decided to check out alone. You disrespected me, you disrespected them, you disrespected the club. You better get your <laughs> together, girlfriend, or you're gonna be alone. I'm putting her membership on hold. What? Okay? You're going on hold. You're gonna rethink this process but I'm not fixing you up with another guy and ruining another man in my club until you have your together. That's harsh, Patty. I don't really care. I know if you can flip a house and get a law degree and take care of dogs and redecorate your apartment, you can date right. Get up. Let's go, Robin. Get up. I have no choice with Robin. I have to dole out some really tough love and I can't have her sabotage me again. She's wasting my time and if she can't get her together, I gotta throw her ass out. I don't wanna see her until she's had counseling. March. March! I think I deserve another chance here at the Millionaire's Club. And I was actually happy that Patty suspended me instead of kicking me out of the club. Because I've been kicked out before and it's not a good feeling. All right, I think Ohani's here. After the disaster with Robin, I'm praying that Ohani pulled his walls down and was open to love from Natasha and Morgan. Hey, sir. Hey, how are you? Hi, Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Sit right here. Hola. Look Thank how you. handsome you look. Hi. You look so nice. Nice to see you. Mwah. I also have Candace waiting downstairs with my ladies who cannot wait to hear the news. Did you allow the true Ohani to come through? Yeah, we had a great conversation. You know, they opened up to me, I opened up to them. I was looking, you know, into their eyes. You had eye contact? I was making eye contact so with them. you didn't go below the chin? Maybe one time, but that was one it. One time? One time. Check okay. the ass out? Uh, maybe one time, one but time? come on, you have to. You were in bathing suits, right? You were in bathing suits, yes. So you that's know. pretty impressive it was coming pretty from you. And coming from me, yeah, you know. So you didn't pull your Rico Suave I did. I swear to God, I didn't. I was awesome, more. Awesome, awesome. They were two beautiful women. Well, and, I mean, they and... were pretty even, Stephen, even though they're different looks, okay? They both had a lot of the bells and whistles you had asked for on the wish list. So, what did you like about Morgan? I like the fact that, you know, she's a country girl, you know, uh, she come from a really nice, you know, family, I can tell. One thing about Morgan that was like, maybe she's a little child, so I want to get to, like, I want to penetrate her, you know, like, meaning, what, like... excuse me, penetrate her? Penetrate what? her, like, you know, like, I want to I wanna penetrate her, like, you know, like, I want her to tell me things, you know, oh, I want to okay. get to, you know, her heart. Well, I wanna, I wanna you want her to open up. I wouldn't use up, the word exactly. penetration again. Well, okay, <laughs> I will not use penetration again, but I want to, like, go into her heart and, you know, and have her to tell me things. And then with Natasha, it was more like, okay, this is gonna be a fun, you know, crazy day, go out, you know, sp spontaneous. Totally different experience. Mm -hmm. 
which I love. You know, it was it was like blown away, and, and I was really happy by it. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. At least one of my clients listened to me. It sounds like Ohani was the perfect gentleman. He was open and had two grown-up perfect dates. He listened and got to know each individual woman. And Ohani didn't pull his Rico Miami Suave crap. He did aces for me. Perfect. Perfect gentleman. It is the moment of oh, truth. truth. Okay, the moment of truth. Tough. You've got to make a decision who you're going to check out with. Okay? Yeah. Both beautiful, mm -hmm. different. Talented, it's okay. more. Morgan. Natasha, who do you want to check out with, Morgan or Natasha? I will check that with, which is a really tough decision. Uh, I will go with... Um... Hi, Patty. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Okay, Ohani has made his decision. He would like to check out with Morgan. Something I haven't told you, there's a okay. little twist here. Okay. Because matchmaking is on both sides, mm -hmm. Morgan has the right to check out with you or not. Oh. Now, if she wants to check out with you, that's great. There'll be a knock at the door, we'll open the door, there's Morgan. But if she doesn't want to check out with you, there's still a knock at the door, and it's Candace instead. Okay, there's the oh, door. Oh. Okay, let's get up. Let's get okay. up, let's see who's behind the door. Look at your girl. Yeah. Good to see Hi. you. Hi, nice to see you again. How are you doing? Good. How this are is you? so sweet. Nice Morgan, you come on over here and sit between us. You know, I'm really happy that I committed to do you know this. I'm very surprised. I'm very excited to see what you know what is gonna be in the next you know day two, three, four, five, six, or seven. So how did the date go? I think it went fabulous. You think it went I, fabulous? I think it was amazing. I yeah. had the best time. It was honestly the best date I'd ever been on. I like that he's a gentleman. That's really important. He wants to kiss you. <laughs> no, I don't I don't want to be you. I don't want to be walking out of here like, you know, Good with my Good for you, tail. honey. Yeah. You're holding I'm, back. I'm this holding is back. awesome. I'm glad to be here. I'm happy with his decision, my decision. I think it worked out for the best. It feels amazing. But it's time for you to check out together. Yes! Okay. Will, you, will you do the honor? Candace and show them the way? Yes, of course I will. Thank you so Bye, much. Honey. I appreciate it, but mm -hmm. okay. we'll see you again for sure. Yes, totally. Well, thank you, thank you. Robin had a great opportunity to turn the corner on her path to love, but she flat out didn't listen to me and she refused. And frankly, I'm not really sure that I'm going to have her back. As far as Ohani goes, I am so proud of him. He did great on his dates, he was a perfect gentleman, he's ready now for true love, he did a great job. I know we've had the toughest cases, and I never dreamed that it was going to be this crazy roller coaster. Suck my ass. Yeah, squeeze yeah. it. We've had some successful matches. I'm so glad you decided to come. <laughs> and not so successful matches. I don't feel a romantic match with either of the guys. We cleansed and healed some really deep wounds. You're rescuing yourself because nobody rescued you when you were little. I have a backlog of clients waiting for a slot to open. It's time to go back to work.